being here this morning. Students, are you happy to be here and be out of class? <laughs> I hear you loud and clear, but I believe I heard your teachers louder. Okay. All right. Thank you, honored guests. Miss Wendy will be up here a little bit to introduce all our uh, distinguished guests. And we're so happy for you to come and celebrate with us today. This is a great achievement. And students, more than anything else, it's because of you. What we're looking at here is uh, about 325 of the best of the best. 425 of the best of the best. Level five, last year's three through eight, but they're four through nine. And I think they deserve a little applause. Very good. Dr. Wright, just thank you so much for taking time to do this. Uh, as I told you when we were talking, I talked to a couple of superintendents. They are so thankful for you to do this. This is a great thing for all the districts in, in the state of Mississippi because I know how busy you are, and thank you. Uh, you know, this is the second year in a row that our school district has received an A rating from the state of Mississippi. <laughs> to give you a little background, in 15-16, our school district was a B. We ranked at 19th in the state. Last year, or 2016-17, and we were very disappointed in 15-16 because we really thought we had a chance and you know, in a coaching way, I really thought the window was closing, but our teachers and our students really uh, met the challenge. And in 16, 17, we, which was last year, we made an A, and uh, we were ranked 13th in the state. This, this year that we're celebrating, 17, 18, our district has moved to number nine in the state. And that is a tribute to the administrators, the school board, uh, the staff, and of course, most importantly, our students. But let me say something about our community, our elected officials. And we could not do this alone. It takes a village, and we appreciate everything that all of our partners do. So with that said, what we're going to do now, uh, I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Clint Reed uh, or, or show his video. He he is over a theater, theater program, uh, and we're going to show a, uh, a video that he does for us every year. Uh, usually we add a little comedy to it. This is a little more serious tone, and, and, and we used all students this year, and we're very proud of it. And then after that, uh, Mr. Clint Reed will lead, uh, bring some students from all four of our high schools to perform the national anthem.
possible by providing support and encouragement for the Union County School District. When I call your name, please stand. An audience, if you would hold your applause until all individuals are recognized. First and foremost, I want to recognize the Union County School Board. President Terry Cook, President-elect Mickey Basil, Daphne McMillan, and not in attendance today, Mike Browning and Wayne Mahon. I also want to recognize our administrators, Tommy Osborne, Mary Jane Marcus, Justin Hollis, Ray Kennedy, Lee Akins, Chris Basil, Russell Taylor, Matt Thompson, Robin Denton, Trent Adair, and Lori Campbell. I want to recognize our legislatures that are here, Ms. Margaret Rogers, Mr. Steve Massengill, our Union County Board of Supervisors, Evan Denton, Steve Watson, Dave Kitchens, and Randy Owen. Our CREATE representative, Dr. Christy Lush, our Myrtle Board of Aldermen, Lisa Cook, our Myrtle Mayor, Michael Kennedy, Myrtle Alderman, Justin Raspberry, representing Northeast Mississippi Community College, Mr. Will Comire, our Sheriff, Jimmy Edwards, our Tax Assessor, Ms. Tamri Dunham, our circuit clerk, Ms. Phyllis Stanford. BNA Bank, Colt Doom, 
Mike Staten, Bo Collins, Tyler Basil, Bob Spencer, Hugh Tate, and Vince Witt. I also want to recognize the former Myrtle principal who is here today, Mr. Paul Nolan. Audience, if you would join me in giving these, people, these individuals a round of applause. It is my privilege to be able to introduce our distinguished guest, Dr. Carrie Wright, State Superintendent of Education, Mississippi Department of Education. Dr. Carrie Wright came to the State Superintendent of Education for Mississippi in 2013. Under her leadership, Mississippi has initiated aggressive education reforms that have increased literacy skills in pre-K through the third grade, pushed student achievement on the national assessment of educational progress to improve at a faster rate than most other states and increase the graduation rate to an all-time high of 83 percent. Dr. Wright spearheaded initiatives in Mississippi that nearly doubled the advanced placement participation and success rate, resulted in significant annual gains in English language arts and mathematics proficiency, and earned Mississippi recognition from the National Institute for Early Education Research as one of only five states in the nation that meet most quality standards for early childhood education. Dr. Wright is also past president of the Board of Directors of the Council of Chief State School Officers for 2017-2018 and is a member of Chiefs for Change. I now introduce Dr. Carrie Wright. Well, good morning. It is indeed a pleasure to be here again. Uh, this is the second year in a row that I've had the pleasure of coming to this area of the state and recognizing uh, Union County Schools for achieving another A rating. So I want to talk to you a little bit about that today and why that is so incredibly special and how proud you should be. Union County is only one of 14 districts out of 144 that have earned this award more than one year. So that is significant in of itself. In fact, that puts you in the top 10% of the state of Mississippi. So that is indeed a lot to be proud of. You know, people ask us a lot about how we give grades, our district grades, our school grades. And the important part about that is that it gives us an opportunity to let our districts and our families and our communities know whether their schools are really doing exactly what we want them to be doing, which is doing a good job of educating all these fine children that are sitting in front of us. So when your district earns an A, it lets you know that you are among the very best in the state. And it's not easy to earn an A. How many students would agree with that, right? Exactly, yeah, I see a lot of hands in the air. That's exactly right, it's not easy. So you know how hard it is and how much work you've gotta do. So when we get ready to award grades, there's a lot of factors that we take into consideration and we look at each one of those as we look at every single district. We look to see um, how well you've done, obviously on your state tests, but we also look to see are you growing from year to year? Are students growing from one year to the next? And then we look at our high schools and we say, well, are they graduating? waiting children on time. So those are all parts of what we look at. But I think the most important thing that to me as a state superintendent that we look at, every single student is considered. And I think that's a very important part. We literally drill down to individual students. So it's not just some students, it's not just those students, it's not some students at a certain zip code, it's every single student. And then we say, are schools and districts working with those who are struggling? Are they working with those who need more challenges, such as advanced placement classes or dual credit, dual enrollment? So all of those factors are taken into consideration before a grade is awarded. So you can take great pride in knowing that when you got this A, your district excelled in every single thing that we looked at. So how about a round of applause for this district, right? The superintendent mentioned it um, about hard work, and it takes a lot of hard work, but it's hard work on the part of leaders, those leading at the district level, 
leaders leading at the school level, teachers leading in classrooms, and all other staff that's related to that, whether they're in a school in a school or whether they're serving at the district level. That's a lot of hard work. So having been a principal before and having been a teacher before, I can tell you that if I was a principal or a teacher in Union County, I'd make sure that everybody knew that I had a little piece of that contribution of that A and be proud of it. I think that there's a few other things that I found out in looking at uh, some data on Union County that you may or may not know. Your superintendent mentioned the first one. For the second year in a row, you have moved your rank, and your rank is now number nine in the state. That's 144 districts, and yours is number nine. That is a lot to be proud of. Your math and ELA growth, remember I told you we looked to see if children are growing? Your growth rate was over 70%. That is huge growth in just one year. And I've been told that the students that are sitting here, I don't know if our audience knows that as well, that the students that are sitting here earned a perfect score on the statewide assessments, either in English language arts or mathematics or both. So let me also take a minute to tell you that is not easy. This is the most rigorous test that the state of Mississippi has ever administered ever administered. It's aligned to our state standards. Your teachers are obviously doing an outstanding job of teaching to those standards because you can't really teach to this test. It's really a measure of did you learn what you needed to know in that given year. So hats off to teachers, administrators, and staff members. In fact, um, three out of the four schools in your district were ranked in the top five schools for English two. Now we have well over 200, closer to 300 high schools. Let me repeat that. Three of your four schools were ranked in the top five out of that many schools for English too. So there's something awfully good going on here. And that's the one thing that I've noticed as I've traveled through the district. You can feel the enthusiasm. You can feel the excitement. You can feel exactly what's happening. You know what's happening because it's not just the data that shows it, it's also what you see in children's faces and when you talk to teachers and administrators. This is nothing short of spectacular. I mean, I just need you to keep thinking about those words. It's spectacular what's happening. So teachers that are in the audience, administrators in the, in the audience, staff members in the audience, would you please stand? All teachers, principals, staff members, Boys and girls, these are people that make your lives what they are each and every day. I talk about the magic that takes place in a classroom between a teacher and students, but it's also the leadership, and leadership matters. Leadership matters from the very beginning, from the district level, to the school level, to the classroom level. So I want to say thank you on behalf of the State Board of Ed and thank you on behalf of the Department of Ed for the work that you do each and every day. Because boys and girls, I can tell you, these people that are standing, they're in that building before you get there. They're in that building after you leave. And they're working awfully hard on the weekend so that when you roll in on a Monday morning, they're already ready for you there. How about a round of applause for these folks? Thank you. And I also want to recognize one of the teachers. I don't know if, uh, is Laura Stock still here today? Where are you? Oh, there she is. All right, she is your representative uh, on my teacher's advisory council. And um, now having come this far, I've got to say to you how proud I am that you are also making it to all of my teacher advisory committee meetings. Uh, this is a group of teachers that I value so much, and I'm very fortunate that you've got a representative. When I started meeting with teachers, I know I needed to hear a teacher's voice at all times. And we started small, we started about 40, and now my teacher's advisory council is well over 200. So I meet with them, as I call it, in the north and in the middle and in the south, and I meet with them several times um, a year. But these are teachers that come uh, with questions, with concerns, uh, and we plan the agenda together. So Laura, thank you so much for doing such a fine job in representing your district. I appreciate that very much. So students, let me just say this to you as well. I know how hard you worked, but I also know how the high expectations that your teachers have set for you. And I'm a firm believer that hard work pays off. And the harder you work, the more you can achieve. So don't ever back up from working hard. Because working hard will get you that next piece of learning that you want. 
When you work into the world, that working hard may get you that next job that you want. People are always watching to see how hard you're working, are you doing your very best, and obviously that is happening here in this school district. So how about a round of applause for our students? You know, I want you to know something, students. You are making history in Mississippi. You may not realize that. But never before has Mississippi had the gains that it's had in student achievement in the history of the state. So when I was serving this past year as president of the Council of Chief State School Officers, so it's all of those of us that are state chiefs, I got the privilege of traveling around the country and talking about what's happening here in Mississippi. And people were saying to me, what is happening? How is this possible? How is this possible that year after year after year, you are making these kinds of gains? And I'll tell you what I tell them. I tell them the same thing. Number one, we have some of the most amazing students that we could ever be blessed to have that are capable of achieving anything that anybody else is, a cap is capable of achieving in this nation and in this world. And number two, I tell them, we have the most outstanding teachers and leaders in our state who come in every day to do the best that they can for our children. And that's what's happening in Mississippi. So you are Mississippi's history. It's not just happening, it's happening in a very spectacular way because of your work. And so let me tell you something else I'm gonna tell all of you that I've been saying over and over again. Don't let one more person say to you, Mississippi's at the bottom. Because Mississippi's not at the bottom. Mississippi's not at the bottom anymore. And we can take great pride in knowing that. Trust me, my colleagues are saying, we've got to start keeping pace with Mississippi because the growth that you are experiencing, we are outpacing other states in the nation because of your growth. So we are not at the bottom anymore. And you can take pride in that because that's something that you have done and that's something that you have accomplished. So I want to say keep up the good work. And I also want to recognize you. We've got a, uh, an award that we want to pass on to your superintendent. So. So on behalf of the State Board of Education and on behalf of the Department of Education, I want to say congratulations to the Union County School District and I want to say you are blessed to have this man as your superintendent. Uh, he is uh, very spectacular. He continues to demonstrate that on a daily basis and I'm proud to call him a colleague. So how about a round of applause for your superintendent. is given, it's got the, the district's uh, name engraved on it, a big A, something that you can be very proud of, and I look forward to coming back again next year, Mr. Basil, when you get the next day. <laughs> I've been telling them that Dr. Wright, they just don't believe it, you know. Right, right. Again, thank you to everyone that, that has come out and supported our students and our school district today. You know, Dr. Wright, I'm, I'm showing you something out in the hallway, and we'll try to tie it up like this. And I'm a Baptist, so when I feel led to do something, I, I need to do it. And, uh, and the ones of you really know me know I'm not very politically correct. Uh, and I don't want to put one school over another because this is a team. This is a team effort. From our cafeteria workers to our librarians to, to everybody, our assistant teachers, everyone. And that's the reason we're successful. But you're going to travel, and you've already traveled about, you're almost halfway through to this. And you're going to remember bits and parts from everything. But when you leave this place, which I'm a proud graduate of 1979, this school, even before I've been superintendent 11 years, and even before I came into office, there's been some tragedies. 
but this school keeps going on and, kids, and other schools in our district but if you have one loss of a student that's one way too many but just since I've been in office if I can find my paperwork here in seven, 2007 and 8 there were three students from this school that lost their life either through an accident or illness 2009 Family's house burned and a kindergarten student no longer with us. 2011, automobile accident claimed life of one of our students. 2013, we had a young man get hit by a train. He is still living and doing great. And he shouldn't be here. We in 2014, we had another student to pass away. 2015, we had a uh, uh, booster club president, a uh, student here, and that student later had an accident on a uh, four wheeler with another student over the back, uh, over the back, and fell off and had a severe brain injury. That student came back to school and graduated last year. In 17, we had another student, we had two students to tragically die in automobile, automobile accidents. But the reason I'm pointing this out because this school keeps, and the staff keeps opening those arms and loving these kids. And last year, this school, in 2016-17, this school's rating was 642, or, or the number. 17-18, they rose 58 points to a 17, and they made a difference. Uh, in, in our district being an A. And other schools, please, no, I'm not singling them, but saying they're better. I, I just, that, that is something, that, that's unheard of. I don't, I don't have any data or anything, but that's, that's unheard of. So, Merle staff, Merle students, thank you for keep on keeping on and, and, and facing everything you've faced. The other schools, we're so proud of you and what you've done. Our school board, thank you for supporting us and keeping us in line and uh, making us do the right thing and helping us purchase the things that we need to be successful. Wendy, you're special to me. You've done a great job. We appreciate it. Dr. Wright, thank you so much again. Boys and girls, you're the reason we do what we do. May God bless. And there will be a, a reception in the library. Uh, please uh, feel free to go over there. That concludes our program. Thank you so much.